Not that anyone wants to see my legs running in slow motion. Whew. I'm in Virginia right now. This trail that I'm on loops around here, goes by a pond. It's the same trail that I ran about a year ago because uh, we were here a year ago, almost to the day. I remember last year how many times I could do the loop. It's a mile loop. And this year, one year later, I'm not doing any more loops than I was last year. It's a little, little disappointing. I realize as I'm running that the same feeling I have of kind of being defeated, getting bummed out about not having improved on my running in a year is about the same way I feel about a lot of things, a lot of goals that I set for myself. There have been certain expectations, goals, things that I wanted to accomplish, and I haven't yet. And in some ways I feel farther from achieving those things now than I did when I was a kid even. Because as a kid you're just full of expectation and you think, man, the world can be mine. At least I did. And then you get out in it and you realize that life can be awful sometimes. Sometimes wonderful. Sometimes you just want to quit. Not life, I mean running. Still keeping with the running metaphor. Careful there. Let me just list out some of the things that I've been feeling defeated over. Get them off my chest so that maybe you'll feel a little better. One, I thought I'd be a filmmaker by now. I thought I'd be a legitimate working in Hollywood filmmaker. Instead, I make videos for iPhone cases and new tech products that won't go anywhere and work on other people's films. Haven't made my own yet. Working on it, but I'm not there yet. So I'm 35 years old and just now working on my first film. Now that's great, nothing, nothing wrong with that, but I thought I'd be a lot farther along by now. Another thing, YouTube. <sighs> I thought, man, I'll do YouTube. YouTube channels, I make videos for a living. I can totally do YouTube. It's gonna be great. People are gonna love it. I've done YouTube for quite a while now, and you know, you, it, it's very defeating. You feel like, what's the point? Why do we even put out videos? We get, you know, not very many views. We love you watching. You're the only one we love. We do this specifically for you, but you know, <clears throat> if we could just have a lot more of you, it'd feel a lot more validating. You feel like, man, we've done well, we've succeeded. Say the word succeeded. It's something that I talk to my kids a lot about because success can be defined in so many different ways and it's really your own definition of success that really matters to you. And everybody has, I think, varying definitions of success. There's kind of the overarching like, success means that uh, you've made it. And success is really valued in this world in America by the number of dollars somebody pays you for what you do. So the more successful you are, the more money someone's willing to give you for whatever it is you do. There's that kind of success. There's success that is defined by numbers of people, like on YouTube or social media, something like that, where the more followers you have, the more people you have watching your stuff, the more successful you are because more people like your stuff than other people. And all of those things are true to some point. Now it's easy to say like, no, 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 that's not what true success is. But in reality, 
That's the success that most of us use as a benchmark. And for most of us as kids, that's the part of success that we want. We want people to value us. And we want people to show us their value in the ways that we, as a group of people, have decided we show our value through a number of views, on the video, people showing up for you or an event, or a uh, number of dollars they give you to keep doing whatever you're going to do. Now, I realize that's just, that's one type of success. That's the kind of success that most people, the world puts on you, the pressure that you have. And so when I have this conversation with my kids, I try to explain that, you know, you have to define success for yourself. When you set out a new project or a new endeavor, what are you going after? When you strip down success, even if it's most like generic form of being money or people, that sort of thing, you have to look at what that buys you, what that gives you, why you want that. What is the reason you'd want the most amount of money for what you do or the most amount of people to watch what you do? What does that give you that gets you to the place of really, truly feeling for yourself that you're successful? I realize for everybody, it's probably a little bit different. For me though, it is time. I think a lot of people would agree with that, time. Money buys us freedom and time. And if we get the money through people watching videos or people showing up at an event or whatever it may be, buying your product, then so be it. We just want freedom to do the things that matter to us. And the thing that matters to you might be different than the thing that matters to me. For me, if I really am honest with myself, it's all about my family. I mean, when you strip down everything in this world, the only thing we have any control over is how we treat the people we're closest to and how they see us and that relationship. And that relationship for me, people who are closest to me, my wife and my three kids. So if those are the things that really matter the most, those are the people, the things that I have the most influence over and the thing that I can change in this world, how I treat them and how they see me, then that should be the thing I'm really benchmarking or setting my bar as success. How can I do that better? What does it take? What's it gonna take to do that? Is it more time? Is it more money? Is it more intentionality? Is it just working on yourself to become a better person so that you value yourself more? Because we can't value other people unless we really value ourselves first. So I don't know, it's a lot of things. It's confusing, but I'll tell you, when I'm out running the same track I was running a year ago, and I haven't improved at all, and I look at other areas of my life that I've set goals for myself, and I haven't improved at those, it gets a little disappointing. But the thing that I've noticed is when I look at the things that actually matter to me, which takes a little work to get to that place of what really matters, what am I really working for, what am I really living for, and you strip all that down to its core, simple thing. I actually feel like in the last year or so, I've done a heck of a lot better than I did before with those relationships. So actually I feel pretty good now. Glad we had this talk. I was actually feeling pretty lame. Like it just, just like, you know, you get feeling like all those things, you look at tasks and things that people look at, the public part of you, you know, and, the, and that if that isn't improving or if it's not seemingly improving, if your Facebook, isn't showing that you're getting better, stronger, living healthier, and all those things, then you start to feel bad about yourself. I think it's important though, this is my takeaway for me personally, it's important to reevaluate every once in a while and re-look at, refocus on what actually matters. What is the goal? What's the goal behind the goal? Like it may be to make more money, maybe you need to make more money, but you wanna make more money so that what? And then that does what? And when you get down to that core, that's the thing that really matters. That's the thing I wanna be improving on. I actually feel like I have. So maybe I'm not running any longer or any faster. Maybe our YouTube channel is never gonna go anywhere. And maybe this film will never be as, a, as successful as I want it to be. But if by next year, I'm having better intentional time with my family and they're seeing me better or more closer. If, if my family's seeing me closer and closer to the person I really want them to see me as, and I'm strengthening those relationships, I think I'm doing okay. That feels pretty good. All right, 
I'm gonna keep running. Oh God, no I'm not, I'm done, I'm exhausted, I'm going home. Trailer home. Oh.